This replay was sent in by Laurel, or Self Embodiment of Perfection. Gotta love that name. Uh, they sent this. They are hard stuck plat for a few years, but they said they're kind of on, on an uptrend. So they're hoping that they uh, can just get some useful tips to help them get out of plat. So I love me a good plat replay. So this will be a very interesting, interesting for sure. I, I mean, if we're going to nitpick right off the bat, right? I'm okay. I don't care what anybody does on their kickoff. You can cheat. Fine with me. You can get boost. That's fine with me. You could even just sit here and get little boost pads. Like, I don't really care what you do. If we're talking optimal, you should probably cheat, right? That's just what I think. But if we're going to go get this corner boost, we need to like hit this boost and like we need to get there fast. We need to either turn and flip to that corner so we can get there quicker. Or we need to get this little boost and boost the entire time there. So we get that corner boost and get in the play faster, right? We don't need to... We kind of missed both and now we're kind of slow. Like we should have that 100 boost before that kickoff happens. Just a little nitpicky thing. So good you didn't... You didn't... You did a great job here of not taking this boost but you also you flipped too late on this one right the reason why you didn't have enough time i feel to get to this ball to readjust and hit this ball correctly is because you flipped at the midfield line right so this flip is totally okay the ball is going into the orange corner you have plenty of time you want to cover some good space here there's not really potential of the ball to get cleared really hard over your head so this is fine now let's just use boost let's stay on the ground so we have options right because we flip again then we're going to end up way deep in the orange side of the field right but if we stay on the ground we have options to turn this way we have options to turn this way we can jump we can do a lot of things but flipping is so committal especially in this scenario it's just it's just a little too risky for my taste right and then it ends up you flip and now you have like half a second to adjust and hit this ball into the net right so Something to think about. Good try there. Now let's get the, some little boost pads, right? We don't want to be stranded with 26 boosts. Let's find a path that gets little boost pads here. Again, we're committing really hard, but it works out because they kind of give up possession. But we should have, realistically, a little bit more boost in this scenario. We should be a zero going for it. Um, and yeah. It worked out. I, I think that was a speed foot. So, yeah, you whiffed, but it's good that you're trying them. You'll, you'll get them. And then, yes, Koneko just made a great point in chat. Er, that earlier challenge, if you would have speed flipped, you probably could have got there in time to that other ball. But also, like, you're committing so far forward, it's very hard. Um, and then, Braidstar has a great point here. Flipping at the ball will also put your car in a lower position, hitting it high. So, that's another reason why you hit the ball a little too high, too. But that's all retrospective. So good, just good ball hawking. I mean, your teammate's gonna have a really nice um, solo goal here. You did, you had a good positioning. You're at the midfield, kind of ready for anything that, that was gonna happen. So you like to see that. Man, you like to feather that boost. That's that's fine. I don't like this challenge. It's a little too committal, right? So realistically, I you're jumping basically at the midfield line. You're you're just past the midfield line jumping for this i feel like this guy's just gonna get here so much faster like you'll never hard beat him and if you do hard beat him and he just doesn't go all you're gonna really do is probably play the ball out this way and he's just gonna clear it past you like you weren't there anyways so in general in twos we don't like to commit to anything in your opponent's corner we like to let them bring it out and then we challenge them gives us more space to actually have a pass come from it or give us and put the ball in a better um spot and you jumped a little too early and then you're like you, you didn't touch the ball because of it so it's super awkward um don't don't love turning for this right because we're i mean if this Ru russ burger guy just touches the ball he plays it past both you guys and you score right obviously he messed it up and you got a, a soft touch and then you got a blind 50 that kind of saved the day but realistically, we probably should be retreating, try to get on defense more. It's just a little too, just bad timing, I think, for it. And then we just have the 
a little awkwardness here. What happened? So our teammate, oh, our teammate just abandons the ball. What? Okay. I mean, you did the best you could. I would probably say, let's watch this orange defender, right? Our teammate leaves the ball. We're a hair late. Let's just watch the orange defender. I went, it's tough. If you probably just drove at this ball, you probably would be able to recover, but you probably would never got it back in time. That's unfortunate that your teammate just drove away from the ball. I don't even know. I don't know a better way to help you with that one, honestly. It's unfortunate. Can't control what your teammates do, though. With good patience. We know we're not going to get the ball. Uh, oh, let's, let's not be too lackadaisical, right? Our teammates aren't the greatest, right? So let's, like, we have 100 boosts. Let's make it so that we're in the play, actually. Get back to this net and turn around and support our teammate. I feel like it's a little too lax. We're kind of flipping to the corner. Like, we, we have 100 boosts. We don't need, we don't need boost. And now it's just kind of awkward. We're all kind of waiting. Ooh, the fake challenge. You didn't fully commit, I suppose. And our teammate's upfield. That's awkward. Very awkward. And we missed the boost. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, let's just go take control of this ball. Let's slow it down. Everything's going a little too fast, a little too weird. All right, now let's rotate around. Ooh, this is the, the lag started. And that's unfortunate. That's just super laggy. I don't know. Very, very laggy. Um, once we get beat here... Yeah, I don't... I mean, our teammate just needs to do a better job of helping us there. I don't see how you could have gotten back in time to actually help without scoring it with the way he put the ball there. Very tough. I saw the defensive rotation. I saw you tried, but, like, yeah, it was tough. Good challenge. Very fast. Then our, you and your teammate trip over each other. Unfortunate. All right, now let's rotate out of here. Good. Oh, beautiful solo play from your teammate. Not much I could say there for you either. I feel like you did a good job. Just kind of clearing way. Probably jumped way too early. Right? Um, realistically, like with this challenge, right? We're not cheating, so we can't be a super aggressive, right? Because we're so far away from the play now. So this is the disadvantage of doing the kickoff that you decide to do, right? If we're going to be going for these corner boosts, we're basically saying we're going to be defensive if the ball goes away from us at all, right? So this ball is going away from us. It is flo like floating just ever so slightly, and it's going this way. It's 100% going to favor this orange defender. Um, so like... First off, you jump so early. Like, by the time you actually get up into the air to, like, go for this, the ball is going to be, like, almost on the ground, right? Like, I feel like it's just such an early jump. I feel like you just have to give it up. Like, you have to give up this possession. There's no way you're ever going to get there in time, and you're more valuable back on defense helping your teammate than flying across the field out of the play. All right, so we're rotating. I like that you, so you, you were rotating against the grain a little bit here because you're coming up the strong side, but then eventually you found your way back. Totally fine. That's, that's great. Now we slide back into a more supportive role. Oh, it's just a double commit. It's just some awkwardness. So we just got to watch our teammate, you know, be careful. You can kind of hear him, but he kind of gets in the way. It's unfortunate. Be very, very careful with these challenges. Be very, very careful, right? I would say after you bump your teammate like this, if you're not ready to like fully turn and go for this, like you need to just be shadowing and get ready to kill time and push this ball off to the side, right? I feel like stopping your momentum and trying to hit this, it's just not, it, these guys are just gonna dunk the crap out of you and it should result in a goal realistically. Although it doesn't, which is fine, but yeah, I feel like you just got to pretend to be the last man back and, you know, play some good defense. Um, this challenge is unfortunate. You tried to put it to the corner and he had a good read. Great save from your teammate by, what is this? You know what, you know what this is? This is, this is, you get these kind of saves right here. 
Let's slow it down. And we'll look at Wildcat. You, you wanna know how you make saves like this? You sub. You sub to my YouTube channel. You make saves like this immediately after you sub. It's pretty crazy, actually. I don't know how it, how it works, but like, you just, you just become super clutch out of nowhere. It's, it's kind of wild. Just in case you were wondering how to do saves like that. I like the idea that you went for a 50. Teammate kind of whiffed. Let's just get this ball to the corner and reset. Try to take control. Oh, this is... You're a, just a little squirrely here, right? This is where we need to slow down. Get behind this ball. You can you can tap it softly to the corner if you need to to get it on top of your, your car, but like we need to stay behind this ball and we need to start dribbling it, right? This is the difference between plat and diamond right here. It's knowing when to slow down and we can take control and start going up the field, right? But we kind of get a little crazy. We flip and we b bounce it off the wall and you know, we don't even follow it up, right? And then we miss the boost, which is not ideal. So that's what we know. We need to find time to take control, get into some dribbles, get some better rhythm. I don't love the idea that we first we miss, kind of mess this up, right? We get a shot on net, and then we're kind of rotating over to this boost, right? Like we don't have the luxury at this moment in time, situationally, to go get big boost pads. Like we need to get back around and support this net. Because now it's a two-on-one, essentially, while you go get boost. But you finally find your way back. Again, another time to take control. Like, we don't need to punt the ball away from us all the time. On defense, we actually want the ball to be a little closer to us so that we can kill that time and make our teammates rotate around us. You want to force a play, basically, on the offense. So that they have to re use resources and you don't. You want to conserve as many resources as you can. So that's your positioning and your boost, right? So we keep punting the ball away from us. We don't have those opportunities to get those outplays. All right, good flick up. You're doing a good job of touching the ball. You like you hitting the ball well, but you need to find time to do what Wildcat does here. We need to find these opportunities to like what Wildcat does. His camera settings, by the way, are freaking weird. But he takes a touch and then he just dribbles it up the side of the field. Like it was that easy to kind of alleviate the pressure, right? That's something that we should try to see more of. Good. Now we try to dribble, which is fine. Good. Now let's rotate out. Wow. Somersault. Um. <laughs> So after we make this play, uh, realistically, once we make the play and we're out and we can't go for the ball again, we need to rotate back midfield. Just rotate immediately. Right? Rotate immediately. All right. Good 50. I'll be aggressive. Go attack it. Oh, we're going for the goal. Got it. So, I love the turn. You got the clean beat. I probably would attack this ball and try to get it middle, but apparently the orange team gives you all the time in the world to shoot it on net. So, yeah, that, that worked out good. Gotta get these these half flips. We gotta get these speed flips down. We can't keep missing kickoffs like this though. Right? We can't miss kickoffs like that every single time. So you'll 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 just need to practice those more. Alright, a lot of awkwardness right now. Ah, uh, just a better hit here, right? We just, we wanna if we're gonna hit this ball hard, like this is a great opportunity again to dribble the ball. We have so much space, realistically. Like, we we take this ball here and we push this ball to the right. Like, this guy won't be able to get there in time. We're drawing him in. We're going to probably get a 50 with Uzumaki back here. And we'll probably get a nice ball that comes out to the middle for our teammate, right? But then we, we rush it and then we get this really poor clear. And now they have a counterattack immediately, right? So... 
feel like there's a lot of situations where we just need to work on getting that control and being comfortable with that. A little awkward. Another opportunity where if you have zero boost, just l lightly touch this ball, right? Lightly touch this ball, get it rolling, and just stick behind it. Stick behind this ball as it's ro rolling this way. Stick behind it, and right before they challenge, try to get a solid 50, right? That's probably the best play in this scenario. You definitely don't want to get the ball away from you because you don't have boost to like get that last second outplay, right? Or the last second 50. So another opportunity where we could control the ball. Good, played it off to the side. Let's clear this off the back wall. Nice. Our teammate is, is he just sitting in net this entire time? Is he, he's like, we're up two goals. I'm just going to chill. Wow. He took. He walked away. He needed to go to the bathroom. Uh, really good pass. That's beautiful. Very beautiful pass. Uh, I'm sorry your teammate didn't go for it. And then the last second goal to win it. So that's overall a lot of good mechanical stuff. I think your foundation is pretty solid when it comes to, you know, hitting the ball and um, hitting it with power. There are some consistency things we need to work on for clears. But I think the biggest thing is. Um, Obviously, we always want to be rotating back post timely, helping our teammates out. But I feel like it's the control. You just need to find those times when you can take control of the ball and do it and do it effectively. So if that means you need to work on dribbles because you're not comfortable with them, so be it. Um, they become valuable later, especially in champ in GC. If we're shooting that high, you know, if you can't dribble and control the ball and you throw away possession all the time, you just will never get there. So maybe that's something I would work on. Shooting consistency, obviously. I mean, you had some really nice shots. Uh, but everything else will just come with more time playing. Um, all those other game sense things that maybe I nitpicked. They'll come with just playing more and just being more timely with your defense, right? So thank you, Laurel, for sending this replay. I really appreciate it.